May the 22nd. Second Division Rangers were at home to Shrewsbury today. Rangers' first ever FA Cup final appearance has certainly added excitement to their centenary year, though it still hasn't boosted their crowd. Today's 11,000 will have to swell considerably to fill their seat allocation of Wembley. Though they'll hardly have been tempted by an uninspiring first-half performance that suggested the team was saving their best for the big day in five weeks' time. Rangers rely heavily on the experience of captain Glenn Roder and Tony Curry for their ideas. The strike force of Flanagan and Allen found entertaining enough, but initially just couldn't get their act together. That controversial synthetic pitch certainly gave Rangers no home advantage in a goalless first half. But two minutes after the break, Burke crossed and Flanagan just squeezed in a header off the post. Rangers were transformed and shot suddenly reined in on the Shrewsbury goal. But out of the blue, the visitors struck back. Cross, despite being fouled, laid on the ball for Dunworth to score. Almost from the kickoff, Clive Allen raced through to put Rangers 2-1 ahead. If their second half performance was anything to go by, Rangers could well surprise Spurs and provide a better cup final than many people expect. Alvin Martin.